Hello guys, welcome to my new video. This time it's about the Asian heavy spam and rush. I developed this strategy now for over half a year and it started with like 30 heavy spearmen at 30 minutes, which was quite fast. But now it's 40 heavy spearmen in 11 minutes. 10 heavy spearmen more, 2 minutes less. A really good strategy. And I want you to subscribe if you enjoy this video or like the strategy. Just do it. And now let's get into the video. Let's go. So here we are in a battle. Well, at first you need to make your house as usual. You can place your warehouse like at the back of your berries. I kinda messed up here because of the deer blocking the building. But it's fine, it's not a big problem. You just get um, 6 workers on to food, so you have a constant worker production. And then you just make um, houses until you have 27 population and you put all your other workers onto wood. Nowhere else. You don't need food, only wood. And that's what I'm now doing. I'm sending also my scout to the opponent just to know in case he like, does a warrior rush because that's obviously the counter to this strategy to any rush that takes place at like 11 minutes, 12 minutes. There would be like a 9 minute attack with the warriors, quite damaging. So yeah, you just make workers onto the wood line. If you can place a warehouse next to berries and wood, it's, it's also very nice. And it's important that you don't take both upgrades into the warehouse. Since when you go Bronze Age, you will be upgrading all your workers immediately. Since you want to rush Iron Age and then you have no use for the worker upgrade and it's too expensive and if you don't do it you save like 30-40 seconds and you will get much faster bronze age and therefore much faster iron age and everything will be just much faster so when you have 27 maximum population you just keep adding on wood and you construct your temple your temple should be ideally next to the iron and if you can also to a wood line. So you don't have to make an additional warehouse. You have to put a lot of workers onto the temple. So it uses all the resources. As you can see I'm just putting a few more onto the temple. I have like 90 foot and I need to get it on like 0 wood. But if you send too much workers on it, you will have no wood income since the workers building the temple are not collecting any wood. This is quite okay, I re reached zero wood. And the temple is constructed at 2 minutes 30 seconds. Now it takes one and a half minute to get to Bronze Age and I will be Bronze Age in around 4 minutes. So what I'm now doing is adding some houses. I would recommend to have a total of 8 houses before you go Bronze Age. Or, I mean, before you enter the Bronze Age you should have 8. And when you enter Bronze Age you need to have 300 food to upgrade 30 workers. So you need to start adding some workers onto the food to get that amount of food. Here I'm scouting the opponent. I see that he has a stone cutter, a temple, which means he goes to Europe and Nothing with warriors, so that's fine. Two hundred thirty food, which means I need more food, so I'll put my workers onto food. I recommend to make like ten, eleven on food at the later stages of the Stone Age. Then it should be fine. You can delete your bulwark; you don't need it. It just wasted 3 sources to upgrade. You can also delete it at the start of the game or in case you have some deer around you can like push them with your scout into your base and then kill it with the bulwark. You will get some extra food from the meat and it will boost your time a lot actually. Now at 4 minutes I'm bronze age and now it's important to upgrade just everything as you can. If I could have upgraded the warehouse immediately, I would have saved like 15 seconds. But unfortunately I didn't have the 20 wood for that. You need to get like 15 workers onto the iron. So you can as, as soon as possible start the iron age. 
now just waiting for the warehouse. Once it's completed, you go Iron Age. And I did a small mistake here as well. Technically, I should like micro mine with the workers on iron. So I save a few more seconds. Since it takes like 15 seconds to mine iron and collect in the temple. And if you send them back by your own, they will only collect like 5 iron, but it will be already used for the Iron Age upgrade and you will save a little bit of time. But it's no problem. It's just a small thing. So when you go um, Iron Age, you need to make 10 barracks. But when you hit Iron Age, you need to have at least 4. Because there will be 4 things you have to research or unlock. The spear damage upgrade, the research um, to unlock the heavy spearman, then the armor efficiency upgrade, and also the reserve upgrade. Yes, the reserve upgrade also. It usually doesn't have a use, but this time I found use for it. And then also if you go Iron Age, you need to get the warehouse upgrades. If you only have one warehouse, you start with the wood upgrade. And it's important that you don't put too much workers onto iron. You need to use your resources efficient. And you have to watch out that you don't run out of food, that's also very important. But right now, your first goal is like to manage your resources and to make the 10 barracks and maybe even later a poultry yard. So now I'm hitting the Iron Age, and the first thing you gotta do is, as I said, take all the four upgrades, then the wood and the metal upgrade, and then you queue enough workers, so you have like um, 50 workers, and then after having 50 workers you take the population upgrade. The good thing with Asia is that the units and the barracks, they go in reserve, which means you don't have to immediately make them. And that actually means that you don't need to immediately make the houses. And it also means that you can like take the population upgrade later and meanwhile do workers to get a much better economy. So at first you just make 10 barracks and the upgrade to unlock heavy spearmen and the other upgrades take 2 minutes. So by that time you should have all your 10 barracks. I unfortunately I uh, forgot to make one barrack, as you see, I only have 9, but I will lose only one heavy spearman by that, so I will just create it now. Here it's very important that you don't run out of food, because um, the heavy spearmen, to unlock them, the upgrade takes food and iron. And if you run out of food or iron, you will not get your heavy spearmen. You will lose like 30 seconds and so you shouldn't allow that, that you go zero on food or iron. At that point I realized that I forgot a barracks, so I just made it. And as you see I have like 200 iron, at that point I didn't think it was too much, but it's actually too much because the heavy spearmen, 40 of them take only 400 iron, and I don't need any iron after that. And now you need to make 16 houses, and in case someone attacks you can even make some spearmen then, because you will have 50 workers and then 10 um, space left for army. 
until you have the population upgrade, but usually no one attacks, so that's fine. So you get your 16 houses, and after that you would have 40 spearmen in your reserve, and you can just immediately produce them. But of course you need the resources for that. And <laughs> as you see on my iron, I just have too much on iron. I don't need that much iron. So once you have the 16 houses constructed, and take the population upgrade, you can also take the eye upgrade after that, since if you go middle age you will lose a lot of resources for the wood. And to recruit 40 heavy spearmen, you need a lot of resources. I think you need like 2k food, food and 1.6k um, wood and 400 iron. So you need to collect those resources now with your 50 workers and all the eco upgrades. I unfortunately, as I already said two times, have too much iron. If I didn't mind that iron, I would have much more food and wood. And since I did not put them on the wood earlier, I will lose here another 20 seconds later for the heavy spearmen. But if you do everything perfectly, I think you can get like 40 heavy spearmen at 11 minutes. And with small difficulties, maybe 11 minutes, 20 seconds. And at least at 11 minutes 40 seconds if you do some mistakes you should have the 40 heavy spearmen. And what do you meet um, at that time is usually like 20 spearmen, European spearmen, normal spearmen, fully upgraded. And if it's like a very good player who knows what he's doing, who has developed his own strategy, that player will have like 40 European spearmen fully upgraded. But the heavy spearmen just totally destroy the spearmen. So if you fight with your 40 heavy spearmen against 40 European spearmen, you'll maybe lose 5, 10 heavy spearmen. Yeah, around that. And you fight if you fight against 20 normal spearmen, you maybe even not lose any unit at all. And if you lose like 10 heavy spearmen against the 40 European heavy spearmen, you can just produce 10 another heavy spearmen since your units will be in reserve. And yeah, you can just instant produce them. So, as you see, I lost some time here. Because I didn't have enough resources, I had too much iron, but... It always depends on the economical management. And if you have a good spawn, of course you can get the heavy spearmen easier as if you have a worse spawn. I don't recommend to use this strategy on a very bad spawn with no wood because it needs a lot of wood as you see. So as you can see on the map we found the enemy. He has like 20 European spearmen fighting against 27 heavy spearmen right now. And yeah, there's nothing he can do. How much do I lose? Maybe one, maybe two. Yeah, around that, two heavy spearmen. And if I wanted, I could just produce two more heavy spearmen out of the barracks immediately. Since they are already in reserve and I don't need to train them, they are already basically training, trained and waiting to get out of the barrack. That's how Asia works. And the good thing is, you can immediately go middle age very fast. I recommend to go western Asia just because everything is cheaper. You get good goats on your poultry yard and yeah, it's just very, very cheap. So here I'm advancing with 40 heavy spearmen into his base. I know whatever he sends, he cannot defend it. Even if he has 10 towers, there's nothing that can stop them. He has 10 spearmen, but yeah, heavy spearmen just are just much better.
And here is the asking. The opponent is asking what he did wrong. And I think the thing that he did wrong is that um, he did not attack me. When I rush into Iron Age, it means that I am very vulnerable until I get my Heavy Spearman. So you should have attacked me earlier. Maybe with Warriors. That's, that would probably be the way to go since Asian buildings are anyway not that durable and the Warriors should have no problem dealing with it. And uh, Asian workers are also not very strong. So that would be probably the counter to the strategy. On a bigger map, it's questionable. Because if I have already my barracks, I can produce normal spearmen. And they should be dealing with the warriors. Of course the warriors will kill like a few workers, but I would have heavy spearmen. And that guy would probably just be bronze age and then again heavy spearmen win against normal spearmen. Or archers also. And that's it, here we won. Very easy game, just by doing heavy spearman rush. Thank you for watching, see you next time.